Check out this little BJ74. We don't normally do walk arounds on 70 series here, Mr. Land Cruiser, but we do on the special ones. And I reckon this one qualifies being special. Now this is a fourth month, 1986 um, BJ74 LX. So this thing um, out the factory came with all the bells and whistles that it could possibly have. Um, now the story is it's an import. Um, there's been four owners Lizzie, the new owner, has had it for a year now. She's um, just had her first anniversary with it. So um, she bought it off a, another female owner who was intent on another female taking it over. So Lizzie's ended up with this one and um, it's into Mr. Landcruiser here for a little bit of maintenance just to keep up on it. Um, Lizzie takes it to the beach every weekend. Um, she's out camping every weekend. We'll have a look at the back later. But um, this thing needs maintenance, being on the beach that much, that seeing that much salt. So we've been right through the thing. We've also smashed the chassis with lan lanolin, the lanolin products that we use here, Mr. Land Cruiser, um, just to give it a bit of pre preventative um, maintenance there on the chassis. Because there, we'll go around it. There are a few little spots of rust popping out on this body, which um, Lizzie, when she picks it up today, she's going straight to see. Um, the panel beater and she's going to address those as well so um, but just check it out look at this thing so up the front we got like what looks like an ARB ball bar up there we've got some halogen spotties this thing came with factory flares just check these bad boys out I haven't seen them before only only on the imports of the LX's apparently you got the uh, safari snorkel there and a fairly mad um, roof rack up there for all uh, all their camping gear now um, the cool thing about this BJ74 is that that is a soft uh, hard top, so that can be removed um, and inside you've got the factory roll bar in there. But I asked Lizzie if she's ever had it off and she's not to this date, so that would be very cool to see that. Um, on the back there we've got a King's awning on the rear of this thing, just for a bit of shade when she's on the beach. And this thing's got uh, the, the chrome rear, bar, rear bumper on this thing, so cool, it's in mint condition, it really is. Um, other than that we've got some... Um, Nothing special going on with the tyres and all that. Like um, the, we've just done all the bushes and we've done the diff oils and engine oil and been right through the thing. So um, it's ready to go. You've got to check out under the bonnet on here because this is a little bit special. So check it out. Look, we've got the factory turboed 13 BT under the bonnet here. Um, and they really do pack a little bit of punch. You've got loads of torque for a little four cylinder engine. Um, we've got dual batteries for when she goes camping. And what's interesting with this one, um, being a 86 model, it's a factory transfer case. So it's like the 60s of the age. Um, the the four-wheel drives controlled by the actuators. And that was when around the era when Toyota were really starting to play with um, vacuum operated systems. Whoa, check it out in here, this thing. Uh, do you know, I've got a thing for the, uh, the 75 series dash. It's like real modular um, and everything's in its right place, you know? So it's just cool, you've got the the modern Jesus bar up here. And um, the dash is mint under here, under this dash mat, that's for sure. We've got these di single din stereo with the GME UHF underneath it there, and it actually looks really cool and really sleek in there. Looks like factory. Other than that, not much going on. You've got your four wheel drive button just on the right hand side here. So it's set up like a 60 series, or a later 60 series. Um, you got some a parcel shelf up the top here really good use of space up there you've got a couple of gauges voltage and you've got your boost so you can see what the boost is going on in in, in your engine and moving back from you've got the so you got this is um i've seen these loads in the 60 series as well you don't often see them in a 70 70 series check the seats out these are turbo seats and they're spring seats as well um which is I suppose because it's the LX, you just got all the bells and whistles of the time. The, the door cards are immaculate. We've got electric windows and electric central locking. When do you ever see that in a 70 series? It's just unheard of, isn't it? But um, it's really cool. There's a single speaker up here. So um, there's some speakers down here. I don't think they're going to give off much volume. But anyway, you've got a, a center console here. Um, tiny little center console, but it is a BJ74 after all. So I said, this thing's set up for uh, a little bit of camping every weekend, Lizzie tries to get out there. Uh, real simple setup, real easy to get out there, and um, no messing with swags or tents or anything like that. You've got a simple set of tightened drawers down here with the wing sets on them. 
and you've got a little bit of a foam mattress going on so you can just jump in the back, fall asleep nice and easy. You've got the factory roll bar. This was said before, this is a hard top, so this hard top can come off if you want. Um, and you've got the factory roll bar situated inside there. Um, this has also got some fairy lights twisted around the roll bar for a set a bit of ambiance when you're out camping. And here as well, you've got a very cool, Lizzie made this herself, table there for when you're out camping to prepare, prepare some food, stuff like that. So yeah, all in all, this little BJ is very well set up. So it's off to the panel beater for this one. We've done our bit here at Mr. Land Cruiser. The maintenance is top notch. Um, she's going to go, Lizzie's going to go and get a few of these spots um, quoted up, see if she can uh, slow down some of the rot that's going on in this thing. Um, Lizzie's got heaps of plans for this. She's going to Fraser Island in February and she's also got plans to go to the Cape next year. Um, mechanically, this thing is ready to go and is definitely up for the challenge. BJ 74.